All right, welcome back to Desi's Five Color Academy, I guess. So this format looks super different. The format looks super different now, right? Like, our eyes have been opened, haven't they? It's not just Rakdos, not just Boros, not just Mardu, whatever. Like, oh, look. Actually, so many more cards do stuff now. Bilbo. We get Bilbo over Legless. Let's pick one, pick one, Bilbo. Lan says, that's why I call you my professor and you deserve all the support. Thank you, Lan. Anyways, I'll pick up a Bilbo over Legolas. I really want to... I mean, we, we, we're just always five colors, right? For the most part. Sometimes, honestly, the way that you should look at this format, or the way that I'm currently looking at this format, is that you, you should look at the format like a five-color set. And then, if you're unlucky, you have to play a two-color deck. <laughs> so that's where I start. So I, it's like inside out, right? Instead of being like, okay, well... Let's pick up these single color cards and then see if we're going to be multicolor. Assume that you're multicolor first. And then if you can't draft multicolor, then you go into just a normal deck, right? So this is an interesting pack. I guess I take Rally. Rally over Sheriff. Let me add that to my notes. You guys can check out my notes as well, by the way. Ex exclamation mark notes. How to draft Lord of the Rings. Assume that you're already in five colors. <laughs> Assume that you're already in five colors. All right, Alrind and Strider. I guess I just get Alrind. Alrind's really good here with Rally and Bilbo already. Seems great. Theo, Great Hall. Theo, Great Hall. Wow. Theo, Great Hall. Faramir as well. Huh. What do we take here, chat? I don't know if this Great Hall wheels. I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit scared that these Great Halls don't wheel. I think I just take Theo, see if the Great Hall wheels. I, I, I'm getting scared, dude. I'm, I, I, I'm getting scared. If people catch on, this is like the downfalls of being a streamer, right? Is that if people catch on, then, then my fun gets reduced, I guess. <laughs> but then everyone else is having more fun, so I guess it's fine. Lauren revealed. All right. Lauren revealed or Grand? Grand is not bad here, actually. Because this can be cast off, off of Great Hall. I think it's just Lauren revealed, though. Because we can still just be like a blue red deck. I don't like Kingfisher. I was really high at the start of the format on Kingfisher, but yeah, I don't like Kingfisher in general. It's not a legendary. It's not. It's, it's just like a completely filler card, I suppose. Ooh, a Meneldor. I think we can do some spicy stuff with Meneldor, actually. Also, I don't want to pick a... Like, I just never play Legolas. I've never put this in a deck, I don't think. I've often considered putting this in a deck, but I just never put it in a deck. Knots. All these are fine. Banish is fine. I'll take Meneldor. Legolas, Envelope, Shadow Summoning. I don't want a Shadow Summoning, I don't think. Do I ever take this? Whenever you scribe, it's, uh, if it's tapped, you may untap it, do it only once each turn. It's so much text to say nothing, though. Whenever a creature in opponent control dies, put a counter on Legolas. Whenever a creature in opponent control dies, put a counter on Legolas. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think I just take this inherent envelope. I really just don't think I play, any, play these. Legolas really wants to get picked, but like, I just don't know how to use him. So maybe it's me and not him. All right, the, this is an interesting pick here. We can still be base green from the spot, honestly. Which one's better? Shard Terrace or Pathfinder? I want to say Pathfinder, actually. I think of our Shard Terrace. Shard Terrace might be fine if we're just like a blue-red deck splashing Theo, but I have greater aspirations. In our better deck, this card's better. I really don't know. Ah, oh, the, oh, the Alan Walker remix. Nice. Okay. All right. So I might play Wizards Rocket. I don't often play Wizards Rockets, though. I think Wizards Rocket is like the bait to five color in the format, if that makes sense. Five colors? Drafting five colors in this format is super difficult, man. It's really hard. How is Born Upon a win for us? We cast spells as though they had Flash Sharp card. I actually don't mind it. I'm more likely to play other than Huron, right? We take it. And also it's a rare. Scarecrow, Strider, Ringo, South. 
I mean, I like seeing this here because the table's not just rare drafting. That's fine. I'm going to take a Strider, though, I think. I assume I don't need a Scarecrow. I almost never need... Oh! Great Hall came back! So we took Theo and wheeled Great Hall. That's insane. Holy shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, you guys have a first mover's advantage here. Horn. That's a wrong horn. You, you guys have a first mover's advantage here. To know before other people know. Because <laughs> other people don't know. This Great Hall is actually good. That's crazy. Faramir. Faramir, Faramir. Faramir, Faramir. Hmm, Faramir is quite interesting, actually. Faramir is quite good. There's a bath song, but I don't really care about this unless we get Tom. I could also just, just take the bad horn as well. The bad horn is actually still pretty good. Because I am expecting to, like, get more rallies and stuff. It's weird, because rally is good with this, because you can get multiple things attacking. But it's not a creature that can be found off of a horn, so... Kind of a weird uh, relationship there. I, I, I think I'll just take one of the mark. Shallop? Whoa! All right, get him a deck. I assume we wheel this Great Hall here since it's, a, since it's an early pack. So I assume we're going to get a, another Great Hall here. I think it's relatively safe to assume that this comes back to me. This one came back to me in a much worse state. So unless somebody out there has a good reason to pick up a Great Hall, it's... It will come back to me. Pick up Shellab though. She lob. She lob. Give me the rares, baby. Generous Ents, another Elrond. Another Elrond is not bad either. Spider Lambus Forge anew. So target equipment. This is not an equipment. Let's take another Elrond, I think. Do I ever play Oogaluk? Mm, if it wheels. And if I have more rallies, that, and if we're aggressive, something like that. But at the moment, not really. Ooh, Goldberry? Goldberry's kind of interesting. I think we can do stuff with Goldberry this run, maybe. I mean, I did pass the Bath Song. There's also Peregrine here. It's also Peregrine. Is Peregrine just better? Peregrine just better. Peregrine better. Why? Because we have tokens. We can do stuff. I I, I just love me Peregrine. I don't, I I just don't think Goldberry does that much. I think it's actually Peregrine, right? Goldberry is good if we wield the Saga. But then even then, we need to figure out how to make her work very well. I think Peregrine is just good. Let's just say Peregrine. So people were telling me that Peregrine has a very low win rate or whatever. It's because nobody has understood the. Nobody has understood the format yet, I guess. Others, others don't know about the format. Sting. How about Sting? Maybe each combat untap a quick creature. This would have been fun with Goldberry, actually. Because Goldberry, because then I could equip her and then, and then untap. And then keep untapping stuff. I don't think I need a Scarecrow. I'm just going to take the Sting, dude. Oh, another parry? Another parry and an ants. I will take another parry, though. So, so we have double parry, double Elrond. So now food is... Uh, food is... Very important for us. I'm still going to pick Pathfinder, though, over Brandywine Farmer. Or... Or, uh, or East, East Frething Farmer. Shower of Arrows, Quarrel's End, Gimli. I think it should be a Quarrel's End. I don't, I don't think I play Gimli in this deck. I, don't, I just don't care about Gimli. Many Partings versus Revive the Shire. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess I take Partings over the first... The first Partings over the first Revive. Oh, Great Hall came back. All right. I will, shall take you over the Shire Terrace. All right, so we need to think about what our base colors are. We're probably like blue-green base. We're actually a blue-green base deck, right? We're blue-green. So Cast on the Fire and Rally aren't that exciting. Sting is probably not being played, I don't think. Bombadil Song. Might play that, I don't know. 
<laughs> we have a whole pack left as well. Spider per spider, spider per spider, true. Other spiders have, so we can give it double death touch. Do we need a Lembus? I don't think we play a Lembus. I'm more likely to play a Scarecrow than Lembus, even the Peregrines. Might play as Brainywine Farmer. Mithril Coat. All right. This pack is kind of nonsense for us. Does this do anything, chat? Is there anything that we do with this? How about an indestructible Shellub? <laughs> Shellub, but indestructible. Is that? Indestructible Shellub. Is that trolling, chat? Or, I mean, what else do we take? I'm kind of down for this. <laughs> just, just play the coat. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I could take one of these. I'll just take the coat. Oh! Wait a second, it's Tom! Hold on here. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't wheel any of the sagas, right? We didn't wheel any of the sagas. Hold on. Dude. Should we be drafting in a way that we assume Tom is going to come every single draft? <laughs> I mean, what else do we take here? I'll just take Tom anyways, I guess. Shit. No sagas. Sagas are just so hard to pick up in this format is the thing. I'd be very surprised if Tom makes our deck, but he's there. All right, Lotho. I guess I can take a Lotho. Is Lotho better than Bill? Bill's better than Lotho, isn't it? I think Bill is better than Lotho. And I'll play Bill. I don't think Lotho is very necessary at all. Because the thing is that my mana is already good, which might sound wild to you, but yeah. My mana is already good. Gothmog, Landrevolt. Gothmog, Landrevolt. Gothmog, Landrevolt. I like this Gothmog a lot. Maybe try to wheel this uh, Lorith or something. This Tormenta Golem is also fine, but I don't plan on playing that many swamps. Because the thing is that these are legends, right? These are legends which can be cast off of Great Hall, but a normal swamp can't, and so I don't plan on playing swamps. Let's take this. Ooh, another Lorith. Lash of the Balrog. I feel like I am missing some removal. So I'm going to try to wheel many partings and pick a removal spell here, I think. This one's black. This one's green. And Sphere is probably better for me then. Because again, I don't think I have access to just basic black mana. I could wield many partings or wield both both Loreths, honestly, at the table. Grima, that's interesting. Still, still no sagas, so Tom is likely. I mean, I could just play Tom for fun, honestly. I I, I, I could just play Tom for fun in my deck, which is probably fine. Pippin! <laughs> Holy shit! That's a pack three, pick seven, Pippin. Holy shit. All right. We got him, guys. We got him. I don't, ha I don't have enough instant sorceries, do I? Is it any good? I don't think so. How about a, how about a revive the Shire? I kind of like revive the Shire here. I could also take Breath the Escape. Breath the Escape is pretty good, too. I can't tell. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what's going on here, dude. Dude, wait. Knowing this Ganoff Sanction could have come back, should I pick Ganoff Sanction? Because they get better at multiples, right? But, like, I don't have that many instant sorceries. Maybe I'll just play Ganoff Sanction anyways. Is that better than Friendly Rivalry in my deck? I can't tell. I don't think so. I, I'm i just so confused, guys. I honestly have no idea. I don't even know what happened to this deck. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> What am I actually looking at? TBH. Problem is, it, is, it, is it, this is a swamp? I don't know. <sighs> what am I looking at? Do I do I want a Shire Terrace? I don't want a rocket. I don't think. I don't think I need a Watchdogs. I got no idea, dude. You take Bill to give away Bill? That's true. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe this could have been the build deck, actually. Maybe this could have been the build deck. All right. Well, how do we do it? All right. Any magic professionals in chat? Max! Where's Max? Tom doesn't do anything, unfortunately. All right, guys. Do we play Tom anyways? Just because we can? Giga Chad? <laughs> or... <laughs> Or should we cut him? Tom literally doesn't do anything. You have any sagas? I have zero sagas. I have exactly zero sagas. <laughs> Mithril coat Tom. What are we doing, chat? I'm so confused. All right, let's cut some cut the cards. I can't play Cast of the Fire. I probably can't play a bunch of these blue cards. Born Upon a Wind just doesn't do anything. Soothing a Smeagol, Bounce of something. Are, 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 are we still even trying to win, by the way? I guess Brainy Wine Farmer goes. Are we even still trying to play Magic the Gathering? I think we're just on a different game or something. This is like no longer Magic. <laughs> Bombadil Song can go. Sam's Death for Rescue. I kind of want that to go as well because this thing, I don't really want to play Swamps my deck. So Sam says the rescue is gone. Oh yeah, one of these envelopes can probably go. Maybe both the envelopes can go. It is a decent amount of temptation, and it's some sort of fixing, blah, blah, blah. One envelope's probably fine, but we'll see. This Quarrel's End. Quarrel's End and Rally at the Hornburg are also bad now, to be honest. I think I kept both of these. Quarrel's End and Rally at the Hornburg. Rally, we don't have many synergies either. All right, I think I can cut the sting. What do we think? Is the sting any good for us? I mean, sting on Shellub is pretty cool. I will have to say. I actually didn't pick up a um a remember the Shire or whatever it's called. The two mana green re regrowth. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to cut. I really, literally, just don't know what to cut. I mean, Legolas can go, I guess. But we are scrying, right? We're scrying. Like, this is actually a good Legolas, isn't it? No, this is when a creature, an opponent control dies. Is Legolas good or still not good? Re Regrow Sam's Steps to Rescue? I could, but then I need to rely on my... But I need to rely on my uh, Swamp, right? This Wizard's Rocket's gone. I just don't need Rocket. Legolas has got to go. Yeah, I guess Legolas is gone. I just don't need him. Oh, uh, what else do we cut? What else do we cut? I, I could probably shave a land and go down one land. Go down one land, then we're on 44, then we make four cuts. Is this friendly rivalry acceptable? I don't want to play that many mountains as a thing. Maybe, maybe I just cut this rivalry. Cut this rivalry, shave a mountain, go down to one mountain. One mountain, one swamp, one plains. One mountain, one swamp, one plains. And then these are all legendaries. And we have double great hall. One, one, one. Plains here. One, one, one. It's all legendary. And then in the blue and the green, we have cards that are non-legendary, right? So that so we're actually still blue-green base. That makes a lot of sense. I don't have many token producers for, pe pe for a Peregrine. That's true as well. Since I'm not playing the Sam's Desperate Rescue. I want the Sam's Desperate Rescue in here too. This deck's impossible, man. I feel like I don't need the Scarecrow, by the way. I think I just don't need the Scarecrow. Just cut the Scarecrow. Like my, ma like my mana is actually just godly. It's just way too good. Horn of the Mark? That's a good question. Is Horn of the Mark still good? I'm not sure. All right, just uh, oh, oh, put Tom in the deck box and cut him. All right, that's a good suggestion. Do I, do I ever go down to 15 lands? 15 lands have a birthday escape, Lauren revealed, and a mini partings. 33389. 33389. 33389. 33389. I mean, I, I mean, I could just cut Island and call it a day. Cut Island and call it a day. <laughs> 15 lands of this. <laughs> and we're playing Mithril Coat. And we're keeping Sting. 
But we kept Tom. Okay. All right. Let's go. How's his hand? The forest. We go first, though. It's a little bit awkward. I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> this is premium Destiny content? Yeah, it is. It is, guys. Must be a dueling academy prodigy. Uh oh. Wait, we're wait. If we don't get a land here, we're kind of it's kind of awkward. We're on fifteen lands, but any land saves us for sure. Deck has more memes than Coke in the White House. Wait, what, Jason? Wait, what does that mean? No. Uh, at least it's a playable card, but I I, I wouldn't much prefer to land. Uh oh, we're whiffing on lands. All right, my opponent's not doing much at the moment either. Ooh, all right. So, Alrin to scry first, I guess. And I still have a block in this. I will I will take one again. The treasure and this is food. Like, it's so hard to tell the difference between a food and a treasure. That's my one complaint about this format. Just scry for lands, I think. And I think. <laughs> Strida, okay. So they, so they have first strike death touch. Pretty good. I could soothing it, I guess. What? Oh, oh, oh is it two two? Because they put it here. Wait, what? Wait, what happened here? Actually. Uh if it's four or greater, then it gets first strike. So this is not first strike. I could trade with Alrin. If I trade with Alrin, then what? What do I even do next turn, by the way? I think I might Ents Fury their Pathfinder. Ents Fury their Pathfinder and then attack. And then Soothing a Smeagol or something. Otherwise, I can play a Creature, then I get a Scry. I really just don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. Apparently they found coke in the White House. I mean, I assume that there's many, many drugs in the White House. Like, drugs are something that is kept very secret, but I'm pretty sure that literally, I don't know. Even if it's not like um, illegal drugs, everybody's high on something. Literally, everybody's high on something. That, 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 that is the way I look at life. It could be caffeine, it could be sugar, it could be like pornography, I don't know. Everybody's got their thing, right? Ents Fury? Ents Fury and a bounce? I mean, Ents Fury, this Pathfinder is like kind of acceptable, but then I don't have other removal spells. So we, we are going to take a lot of damage. I don't know if I'm willing to take the damage at the moment. But this also doesn't help me. Playing creatures means that I can horn or something. I guess I could Theo, Theo, Theo this to scry and then attack with Elrond or something. It's a super weird turn, honestly. I've got no idea. High on this stream as well, yes. What are you high on? Tell us. I, I, I'm high on a lot of things. I'm high on life. High on infinite things. I've got nicotine here. I've got uh, menthol, camphor, eucalyptus oil, borneol. I've got a THC vape pen. Oh, shit. That's kind of spooky. First strike, trample death touch. Trample death touch. Oh, all right. Getting kind of sus. A lot of damages. So how do I do this? I only have... I, I guess I could go Peregrine. I guess I can go Peregrine plus either of these. Or I can just do both of these. I got no idea, to be honest. I, I, I really have no idea. Should bottom this, I think. I can't draw this turn. And I just need to land for Shell Love, I think. Elab. I don't think Ends Fearing does anything here, so... Alright. I got no idea. I mean, if they have another tree folk, I'm probably just dead. That's right. That's it. This one. So I should triple block this, right? Triple block this and then bounce Strider, I guess.
<laughs> I'd be surprised if it works out, but yeah. So I could go to one. I probably don't. I probably shouldn't go to one. If they have anything, they have it. How much I knew about it. Improvise slot. All right. So we're not dead, but they wipe our board basically. Oh, another Strider? Jeez. All right. I think we're dead. That was that was a good that was that was a really good hand from them. Where did this game go wrong, by the way? I don't even know. I think is this because we went second? I'm not sure. All right, GG. I don't think this hand is keepable. Mulligan this. Yeah, so you actually have to lie and say that it's that it's weed. <laughs> you have to lie and say it's weed here in Thailand. <laughs> I guess I put back the soothing. Okay. This is the hand though. Ooh, Pathfinder? Pathfinder to me Metal Door. How does this work? How does this interaction work? This is the second time this ability is resolved. Ring temps are are we gonna get more temptations with this? I think we are, right? I still just mental door. I mean, they could have a smite, but I assume that they might have just smited this, though. Like, them attack, untap smite would have been good. So, like, I don't think that they would have a smite here, anyways. Synthetic weed is a different chemical than THC that you can vape. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know much about it then. I, I, I should have no doubt. Oh, horn? I, I think we can beat a horn. I think we can beat a horn chat. Can we? Or am I being delirious? So I can Alrin, right? And then I can s attack with both. Then I flicker Alrin. Then this is the second time this ability resolves, right? She, actually, I can flicker something else to tempt. I can flicker something else. It doesn't have to be flicker Alrin. So I don't think we want to land. Okay. And I am going to attack with both. This trade's good for me because I have a horn. I think we... I, I think we can beat them if their hand is not too crazy. Do we... Do we flicker the bird instead? It's better flicker the bird. Maybe it's better to flicker the bird. Look at the bird instead of Alrend, right? It, it's it, it's either bird or Pathfinder. If I flicker this, then I get this temptation. Then where do I put the temptation on the Pathfinder? Or maybe temptation just on just on the bird? I'm kind of all in on the bird anyways, right? Okay, so who 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 who's the ring bearer? Doesn't matter that much. Can I ever tempt pre combat next turn? I probably, sometimes I can. I think it's just men, mental door, unfortunately. So removal spells are really good for. Whoa, so they're attacking this. So they have death touch trick. I guess I can't even block it. Oh, Quarrel's end instead of Horn. That's crazy. What the hell? Wait, what? Wait, what? What was that about? Holy shit! Are you crazy? So, what the? I have so many questions. So, I ants feared for damage, right? Ants feared for damage because I'm gonna do it anyways. So the ring is gonna tempt me, or the ring is gonna tempt me, but does it tempt me before combat? It doesn't, right? So this has double strike. Wait, so oh yeah, okay, super confusing. So I go Theo, I give him a mental door. This is first strike. Then 
No, but then they attacked already, so it doesn't matter. Right? Dude, this... I'm so confused. I'm so confused how to play this turn well. Dude, I'm super confused. I actually have no idea how to do this. Because we need to think about Elrin Temptation as well. I got no idea, dude. Well, we do this on the bird, I guess. We do this on the bird and then we scry. The loneliness. This is a human for double strike. Should I just keep it? Be fine. So I'm gonna end Sphere. This is first strike, and then it's gonna flicker something. It's gonna flicker Theoden. Dude, I have no fucking idea, right? Okay, I got no idea. Like, I wish I could tell you guys how to play this game, but I literally don't know how to play this ma game called Magic. So we're just gonna do random stuff and see what happens here. Okay, so it's gonna attack here. They have a block. This is first strike. Then Malandor has an ability. I can flicker something. This thing hasn't connected yet. So I can flicker Theoden. But if I flicker Theoden to give this first strike, the first strike damage has already happened, right? <laughs> Dude, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I got no idea, man. You go first. This is an acceptable hand, I guess. <laughs> dude <laughs> our hands are looking kind of crazy in this format dude like look at our hand what the hell is this normal is this normally i i guess bro like well, what is this what land do i get i guess i get a forest Dude, Krispy Kreme donuts are the best. I don't know. Chris Krispy Kreme is my favorite donut. I don't know what others think, but yeah. Uh, Krispy Kreme is my donut. Guess this is guess counter. Doesn't get countered. That's crazy. Do I want another land? Not really, right? I don't need I don't need any more lands here. Oh, uh, Gothmog actually triggers the temptation. Because this is two creatures enter the battlefield. Or this doesn't say non token. But this is also human for Theo. Remember, this was an only, when an only draw land stream? True, true. Tell them I come to, Ger to Germany. I would love to get sponsored by Krispy Kreme Donuts, man. I, I would love to bathe my body in Krispy Kreme. Chance Met Elves. Okay. If I end Sphere yet, my Elrin actually dies, right? So it's actually not that good. How about I go Gothmog and attack? If I go Gothmog and attack, I make what the ring bearer? I, I make the 1-1 one, one the ring bearer. I make this the ring bearer. I could play this and not attack as well. I could also go Theo and just be mana inefficient and get my double strike and my scry. And then this puts in a human. Then I can double strike Temptation and scry. I got no idea. I mean, the attack is just reasonable. I don't know. Inherited envelope. This is actually not bad because it's temptation as well. It's temptation, and then I can play a Pathfinder. And then I get a loot and get my ring up. I don't like that, actually. Guess I keep it. Alrind is better than their creature, but what I'm saying here is that I'm in such a good spot that. Really, the thing that destroys me is are, are, are like fight spells. Fight spells are fight spells are what's kind of wrecking me. Is Gothmog the ring bearer or this guy the ring bearer? Yeah, I, I, I really can't tell. I got no idea, honestly. Shipley's is good, but it's really only in South Texas. Sh Shipley's Donuts. I, so Shipley's Donuts is good when it's fresh. But Krispy Kreme is good even when it's not fresh. So it's this envelope and Ends Fury, right? On Glorfindel. I need to fight with Gothmog so that it survives. He just has a ring bear, I guess. It looks like it has a hair, yeah. It's it's basically hair. It's basically hair. 
Like, I, I kind of just want to trade up Elrin now. Yeah, I'm just going to attack him. I guess I get rid of Island. I mean, I think they have to trade here, but again, it's basically the same thing. I like to glaze my donut. Thank you. Peregrine and Bill. Peregrine and Bill. I mean, honestly, it's probably still a mistake to trade up Elrind. My turn would be so much better if I had an Elrind here. I think, yeah. Maybe I should have still kept him. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You on Gothmog? I'm, I'm fine making this trade, but... Just double strike them both, I guess? Then what do I discard? I, I probably just discard whatever I draw. It's another Elrond! God, what is my deck, dude? I guess I get rid of Bill. Bill is tokens for Peregrine, but if I go Elrond, Peregrine, then I get another Ring Temptation and I get a Scry. Or is it just get rid of Elrin and then have Bill and Bill and Peregrine to draw cards? Dude, I literally have no idea. What if it's Elrin and Bill? And I just get rid of Peregrine? Maybe I just get rid of Peregrine actually. I can see getting rid of Peregrine. Right, let's get rid of Peregrine. Is the yolk sweet or savory? Mm, it is. It is pretty neutral, actually. Pretty neutral. Sweet and savory. So they play double spell here. So I have five, six mana. I can't really double spell. I think I want to keep my three so I can try to double spell. But I think I just give him Bill. Oh, okay, it didn't get countered. What the hell? So, I, so now what? <laughs> Wait, I didn't think that far. This attack gets blocked by this. I just pass it back. I mean, it, it, it has Death Touch, though. So I'm still attacking, then? Merc with Spider. I could play a Spider this turn. I think it's worse than just keeping my good cards, right? I mean, this Krispy Kreme donut I ate right now doesn't have a hole in the middle. I mean, it does have a hole in the middle, but not like the normal donut, like US donut shape. So do I pop for food? I guess I don't have to, right? Rima? How much mana do I have? I have five, six. Those Alrin Grima. Do it make something a ring bearer? I guess I make Bill the ring bear. Did, did I actually have the counter now? No. This gives me a food for Bill, but I don't have Peregrine anymore, so it's not that good. It's also just a waste of a scry. <clears throat> okay, Grim has a human as well. Prox Theo and an Elrond. Dude, our decks are crazy, man. So I think I just double strike Bill in. Just double strike Bill in. <laughs> wow. Oh, Lord of Bill is probably better than Strider. Strider is a human that wish proc double strike as well. All right. Let's see if they bounce Bill. A bounce? A bounce, baby? All right, you got bounced. Hmm. 
<laughs> Dude, these are... I feel like these are not board states that normal people see in this format. Oh, I have a Shellum. <laughs> My deck is... Dude, my decks are crazy, dude. My decks are so fucking crazy, man. What the hell? I do this and then what? <laughs> Play some pass? I don't know, dude. Dude, Chad, we don't even play the same game, guys. All right, we got another keepable hand. Let's go. I, I think the thought you might play Bill <laughs> against Scared. Scared then. All right, do I do I do I do I grab any mana right now? If I grab in mana, it would be an island, I believe. I don't think I need to though. I mean, I could just curve out like. I, I could just curve out. Do I ever get punished for playing this? I mean, I have a Peregrine in the deck, right? I have two Peregrines in the deck. I think I just hold it. Rally? All right. So I guess this is technically a punish because I, I probably wanted to pop food. I think it's still fine, though, but yeah. Should I many partings now anyways? I guess there's many partings now anyways. For my five mana turn, I might need to pop the food or something. I don't know. Because like looking at our deck, we only need island, right? Everything else we cast with Great Hall. Just island. Island. So I technically should have just done it last turn, maybe. But then if we draw Peregrine, it's worse. Ooh, my opponent's got a hand, man. Jeez, what is that? Oh, I have a Bilbo as well. Problem is that I'm on the draw here. I think I need to play my own Bilbo. Otherwise, they, they get a treasure. I hate blocking here, obviously, but it is what it is. <laughs> Everything is legendary, yeah. Everything is legendary. This is legendary as well. Great Hall helps cast this. Uh, Bilbo's basically a rare, yeah. Bilbo's basically a rare. Oh, they're attacking with it. <sighs> right, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna block it. I'm still gonna block it, honestly. Still gonna block it. I don't want them to get so far ahead. It's obviously a sketch if they have Gimli's Fury, if they have like uh, deal two damage, Ranger's Firebrand. Okay, they got nothing. I like nothing. I do like a little bit of nothing. Which means I can actually attack. I can actually attack and play Bill, I think. Like, it's a different story if they have blue mana up, but they don't. So... So, we play Bill. Because again, they have no blue mana up, so no need to worry here. And they didn't deal with Bill last turn, so... Bill can also make Bilbo deal three damage as well. So second Lord Lord revealed. Interesting that they didn't do it last turn. So that tells me that they they don't have a counter spell, right? Because they would have cycled it, played an island instead of playing the mountain. So it looks like we're in control. Oh Pippin! Oh baby! Holy cow! And I have a mithril code up. <laughs> what is this Desi guy doing, dude? This guy's mithril code up. Middle code is actually so good here. It's insane. I mean, I want to attack with both, right? Question is, do I play something first? Alrin or Theo? I can Alrin into Pippin, then I don't have Mithril Code up. If I go Pippin first, then they can counter it, but then I have Mithril Code up. What do we do? What do we do, guys? <laughs> the options here are, are very close to infinite. Guess attack both first? Wait, these are food, not treasure. I got no idea, dude. Yeah. I also should not be putting them on a counter either. 
Either way, yeah, I, I got no idea. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I got no idea, dude. Dude, what a hard turn. Holy shit. Okay. Again, I think all roads lead to Rome, though. As long as I do something, it's fine. Oh, that's deep, Desi. When you're in a situation with too many good options, just doing any of the options and relaxing is fine. <laughs> Basically, the moral of the story here. Push some damage here. Right. So this is the new ring bearer now. I think I just want to tap out Alrin Pippin. Alrin Pippin makes a lot of sense. Then I then I could Theo. Because because these aren't humans. And then I have temptation on Bilbo again. Ooh, well, I guess I'll keep this. I don't even know what this does, to be honest. Sting? Yeah. I have no idea. No idea what it does. No idea. Dude, I, our decks are getting crazy in this format, dude. Pippin holds a Mithril. I don't think it's necessary, though. Is it? Pippin holds a Mithril, plays around a board wipe. Sure, but the board wipe doesn't even kill my bill. Then I have a bill with this. I don't think it matters. We got their attack in. <laughs> dude, what is my deck, dude? I don't even know what to say. What is my deck? I'm playing so many unplayable. I'm playing so many cards that shouldn't be here next next to one another. Right, so, the, so they're gonna, so they're gonna kill Pippin here. Kill Pippin, pay one. Pippin, pay one. I can play Theo. I cannot temptation, right? I don't, I don't, I don't have a temptation this turn. I don't think. Does the ring tempt me on any of these? Does the ring tempt me on this? No. All right, so any knowers on how to do anything? I can force a block here with Theo, Theo and Bill. Play Theo and Bill. Stern, Stern Scolding would have been good for them if they had it, but they didn't have it. Peregrine, sure. So we have the ring on two, so Bilbo can draw me into this. I could discard Sting, I guess, and then just play Peregrine, and then I and then we get to uh, tempt again. This thing does just uh, just doesn't do anything, right? I guess I play my land first because if they block here, then I want to Mithril Coat Elrin still. Okay. <laughs> I got no idea, dude. No, nah, I got no idea. <laughs> discard Sting. All right, so I'm going to double strike this. And then I'm going to Mithril Coat Elrond. <laughs> it's indestructible now, so we get in for 12. Get a treasure. Okay. <laughs> this is not the same game, dude. This is not the same game. We have climbed too high in this mountain. That our decks look, look like this now. How do our decks look, look like this? Bro. Literally, nobody knew what the format was. Neither did I, apparently. Desi always finds this because... Not only is Desi curious, but Desi always is uh, looking for the... Oh, Rally the Hornberg? Okay. So this is temptation. This is temptation. This is temptation. And then Peregrine is a halfling. It does not proc Theo. So do we have lethal here or not? I don't even know. What does this even do? It's indestructible. Inherited envelope. I mean, the thing is that I also want to rummage something away. 
It might be inherent envelope. Do I keep Bilbo as a ring bearer? Can't I, I I honestly just have no idea, dude. Okay. So tempt on Does it matter? I guess I don't attack with Theo, unless it's lethal or something. Okay, they kind of have to triple block this, but then it's already lethal. I, got, I, I, I literally have no idea, dude. What if I don't attack with Bill so that I have a block for this? I'm gonna play Peregrine first for a treasure here as well. It's, it's impossible, dude. Like, is there a point in swinging with Theo? They just get the block here and then they just do chumps. I don't think there's a point. Oh, Gothmog is even better than Peregrine. Okay. Why attack with Bill without food? Oh, yeah. It's true that I don't have food. <laughs> I didn't notice I didn't have food. I thought about too many things and I forgot that this is a treasure. So the treasure and the food look super similar to me in this format. I'll still play this. New a new temptation. I still don't have food. I guess I just tempt on build in. Yeah, I got no idea, dude. <laughs> I, I really literally have no idea. I just don't know. I'll I, I'll put on Bilbo because if Bilbo dies, then I get a then I get pick then I get to pick a new ring bear. Bill, Bilbo, all these guys, man. All these guys. They're attacking all? Holy shit. Do they have a board wipe here? I mean, Elrin is indestructible, so... They would have to deal with Elrin and board wipe me. Guess I'm making the blocks? I don't know. Let's see. So that is a lot of damage. I guess I died a heart fire now. And died a heart fire. All right, let's see if they got me here. Dude, that would be sick if they if I died a heart fire and my opponent got me here. Did they got it? Holy shit. Oh, my opponent got the win. Damn, son. So I so I could have played that even better. Oh my god. Yo, my opponent got the win. <laughs> We have actually broken the format. Like, the format's actually really fun. We have uh, found the truth of the format, I think. It's a little bit sketchy, but I think I'll keep it. The format's actually really fun. Once, once, once you know how to play it. Yeah, unironically fun. Like, this set is actually just good. It's actually just a good set. That's crazy. Like, we've moved past all of the color imbalances. we moved past a lot of that stuff. Into a reality where, um... Actually, which is better? Actually, Elrin's better, right? Elrin, then I can try to play Pippin off of, uh... The envelope if I get a land. Alright, I'll, I'll take it. I need to play Shire Terrace first, and then play uh, Envelope, leave up an island to play Pippin. Then I get a Scry again. You're here for the Goofy Dex entire reviews? Yeah. Thank you so much, So I appreciate it. Good to have you here. Welcome back. So, is there a punish for me attacking? Is there a punish for me attacking first? What's a punish, chat? There's no untap. I, I guess there is the untap. Plus one, plus three. Goes to three, four. Oh. Guess I'll do it like this. Oh, oh, oh they got a treasure. Oh shit. <laughs> Is giving me a treasure fine? I can't tell. No, I have casted maybe like six or seven lotos in this format. 
I've had Lotho in like three or four of my decks. I don't think a land is that good. A land is six mana. But I've already played my land for this turn. I think it's just a bot. Guess I'll attack. I'll attack because it's Magic Arena and uh, there are no pauses. <laughs> Gotta abuse Magic Arena. Victor of Gondor. Do they double spell? The Ams of the Rescue. Whoa. All right. So they get treasure back. Okay. Peregrine. Peregrine makes extra food with Bill. I have five mana though. This is me it, 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 it is Meneldor Pass, right? Kind of awkward, right? But this is Meneldor Pass, I think. Meneldor Scry Pass. Do you want to land or not? So the thing is that they likely play Eagles next turn. I guess I don't even have that good block. I mean, I still have a good block with Pippin. So. If we give the land, I go Peregrine and another Elrin just to trigger Tempts to you. How does that work, actually? Do we get double Temptation? Actually, I don't even know how that works. Do we get double Temptation there? I honestly don't know. I mean, I'm likely just going to play Bill anyways, though, right? Bill starting to flicker with this. I, I, I honestly don't even know. Do I get double temptation if I play Elrin as that? I honestly have no idea. Anyways. I got no idea, dude. These interactions are like actually very complex with the legendaries. I think it might also be we get one temptation as well. All right. So I have to sack Elrin, right? I have a second Elrind. Sacrifice is a creature. I need a second Elrind. The protection doesn't save me from a sack, so. Alright, so I so I'm gonna give them more treasure again. But I get to sneak in Meneldor. This is my ring bear, and then I flicker what? Then I flicker Elrind, I guess. Alright, so we go. Elrin first, and then Peregrine, and then Flicker Elrin. Get a Scry. Because if I don't do this, then I don't tempt. So if I go Bill, it's not that good. Because I'd have to tap Pippin to make it go in. Ooh, Bilbo's good. Flicker Peregrine for Scry and Tempt. Flicker, Flicker, Flicker Peregrine. I mean, what's the difference between Flickering this and this or this? Is my question, I guess. So I need to discard one of these cards, which is kind of awkward, actually. I I could just not attack, but that seems troll. I just have to discard one of these. Which one? Do, which one do I discard? Bill or Bill or Bilbo? Wait, hold on. Is Bilbo just Bill? Hold on here. Did Bilbo become a horse? I think I should just keep Bill, though. Get rid of Bill. <laughs> no. Bill is better with Peregrine, and we can Flicker and stuff, but Bilbo just gives me more, more temptation. If I Flicker this and I lose my Ring Bear. If I Flicker this, I lose my Ring Bear. I mean, Flickering Elrin or Peregrine is the same shit, right? I guess I technically should target Peregrine in case they have Golem Spider or something. Same, it's the same thing though. The same thing for the most part. They have food and a treasure. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this format's crazy, man. What the hell?
You use your opponent's Lotho to kill them one game? I, I've been in similar situations before, yeah. So they didn't even want to play Eagles. They didn't even want to play Eagles to block this Manaltor. Kind of crazy. Aaron Rider. Okay, so they think that there's that they need to do other things. EO would also be good. EO to give double strike on this. Is Theo just a win, actually? Theo is actually just a win. Yeah, Theo is actually just lethal if, if they don't have anything else. So they can pop a food here. Not, that's not a Theo. Alright, so I go Bilbo first still, anyways, because I think Bilbo is the one I want to flicker, right? They get another temptation. And then I can tempt again. I guess I, I'll, I guess I already have a tempt. Either way, I'm playing Bilbo, I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, I really don't know, to be honest. Yo, this would be so hard to play in paper. So I, just, I still keep it at mental door, right? So we do need to worry about damage. Birthday escape? Does it do anything? Get rid of this great hall, but... <clears throat> I might need to flicker me me Metal Door now, actually. I might need to flicker Metal Door because I already get the full temptation and then I can pick this as my ring bearer again. And then I actually have a block with his eagles. <clears throat> I, think I, I think I flicker Metal Door because Elrin is going to give this, uh, make this a ring bearer again and I actually need blocks, right? Because they have what, six, seven, eight, nine damage. It's actually a lot with the eagles. Orange scry, see what we draw here. Pathfinder? How good is a Pathfinder? I can birthday escape and play a Pathfinder. Is that good? I can birthday escape play a Pathfinder? I don't think it's good. I think it's spot. So, Mental Door again is my ring bear, I think. And then I guess I'm just casting a birthday escape. Just waste this. Oh, uh, I give them a treasure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. I assume it's neutral. Strider. S still mental door, right? Still mental door. So now, what's on the bottom of my deck? I have I have a lot of land. Is it worth popping the shard terrace? It's it's not even worth it, right? It's better to not pop it because I have five cards on the bottom that I don't want to see. Four four cards on the bottom that I don't want to see. Plus three plus two trample is nice, but the thing is that first of all we have better draws. Secondly, is that we don't have seven mana yet, so we'd have to draw land for that to be good. And I think that that's just a lot of resources put into something that is likely not going to work. So is this just a YOLO swing out and figure it out, or what? Math is for blockers, or nah? Because either they got to make a big attack or not attack, I think. If they attack with only Fell Beast, then I can bounce the Mental Door. All right, Math is for blockers. Okay, Math is for blockers. So they all are first strike. They all are first strike. I can just make this block a 2-1, and then, and then I can uh, protection something else. Make my good blocks first. I guess I protection Elrond. Protection Elrond. Bilbo goes under the bus. Does Pippin go under the bus or nah? So this is how much damage? This is uh This is eight, ten damage. Ten damage and I'm at one. Could die to some combat trick. But I block Pippin here and then give this one protection. 
then I technically don't have a lethal. Because I can't attack through this. I think I just go to one. Let's see if they have plus one, plus one. If they have plus one, plus one, then they got me. Do I want a new ring bear or not? There's eagles here. I guess the new... I mean, I can give this some protection from creatures. Sneak this one in. Should be lethal, right? This is what? Five? This is nine? Ring bear can also be on Pippin, yeah. Maybe on Pippin's best. Pippin can attack too. Sure. I think we're good. So they lose a life here as well. We're good. Who knows? Theo. Theo should be lethal. I guess. I So I give this one protection. I don't have enough mana to play them both, actually. Theo, this one protection. This one attack all protection. It, sh it should be enough, right? I don't think there's a single card that can that can save them from it. I guess there are cards, but it has to be a blue card, like minus minus three, minus so. So I think that should just be enough. Theo on Meneldor. Do you have a protection from creatures? If you play both, you lose the ping? No. They 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 get pinged. I so I can never take damage from Lotho. It's just pretty funny. So then now what I'll do is I'm going to give this protection from creatures. Okay. So now they can block. But then this has double strike and then I can give something else double strike. But actually that doesn't work. But we can change the temptation of the ring actually. We, we can change the temptation of the ring as well. Okay. So first strike damage here. Right. And then we flicker Elrond, right? Flicker Elrond. I guess, yeah, we flicker Elrond. Wait, no, this this gives new temp. I should have flickered Theo, I guess, but it's the same thing. I guess it's a little bit worse because I could have flickered Theo to give double strike. Wait, what? Hold on, chat. Wait. Where's my temptation? Wait, they're, wait, they're still dead. Wait, they're still dead. <laughs> oh yeah, they're still dead. Wait, but where, but where, where's my temptation? Did it not count it? Did it not count it? It's not the same Elrin anymore, but it said, it didn't say the same L. It said, if this ability has resolved, this is the second time the ability resolved this turn. It should be independent of this, right? Different Elrin, different ability, really? Okay, so it, so it doesn't work that way, so I so I should have flickered Theo. <laughs> Alright. This deck's too hard to play, man. Ooh, it's a nice hand. Why are we five colors? We got Thomas the Saga Engine. Uh, Tom, we have Tom in the sideboard. Alright, so this is interesting. I mean, I guess I just spider this turn, and then next turn, if I don't draw a land, I'll mini partings. But I would prefer to many partings after Peregrine. So there's no land, so I have to many partings now. So many partings for Swamp, I guess. Just play the Swamp. <laughs> Are you guys annoyed, by the way, chat? That my deck 
that my decks always have so many colors. <laughs> I feel like some people are just like, man, bro, can this desk just stop drafting these weird decks? I'm pretty sure that there are people who think that, right? It feels bad, man. So against this, no mana left over. So this and this both get uh, wrecked by like deal three. I think I play Grima. Grima into these sounds much better. <laughs> Lawan says, no, I love you for that. Are you sure? I don't know, man. Only way to get two colors format is if you have red. Wait. Wait are, wait, are people already believing that this is a four color, that this is a five, four, five, four or five color format? Every single set. I mean, every single set, it feels like we're just playing different games, though. <laughs> you think we're trying to watch more version Blue Eyed Nights? I don't know, man. I think most people are. Most people are. Ooh, Sting on Grima is kind of interesting. How do we do this, by the way? I could just go Sting equip. Is that bad, though? I mean, it technically gives me a block on this. Otherwise, what? I'm playing Alrind? And scrying towards what? Like, I mean, a spell or a land is good for me, so the scry is kind of worthless. But playing one of these, I guess I can block, and then I can sack if something goes wrong. It's probably fine. <clears throat> so I guess it is just Alrind. Alrind and be willing to block that. I guess this is fine, right? This is, I think it's acceptable. They have Gimli's Fury, I'll still sack it. Shelob's Ambush, alright. Popular works because no one drafts green, they just get fixing and can grab all the powerful stuff. I mean, like, you don't, you don't even have to be base green, though. You don't even have to be base green, in my opinion. In this format to be five colors, like, we, we, we've been five color non-green as well. But yeah, those two decks look very different, right? Those two decks are very different. I still don't think there's a point to play Sting. I, I go Peregrine. And then what? How am I supposed to play this hand? I really have no idea. I mean, I guess it, we just see what my opponent does. Oh, they forgot chat. Pepe hands. Oh, it feels bad, man. <laughs> minus, minus three kick W. I mean, can't I just double block this? And then just let it resolve or something? Either way, they killed Barry Peregrine. That's fine, I think. I mean, I could also just take four. I could also double block with this. I think it's worse. Double block with this, then I'm trading Grima for this, and I get a key Peregrine. Is that better? I think this block is better. Oil of fonts. All right. I I'm just going to bounce this. Okay, so we just bounced this, and I guess Grima is the ring bearer. And then I'm going to try to cast a Shelob. Oh, I didn't even have to attack. So now it's better to not attack with this, to keep it up for this, to sack it, I guess. Is there a point in attacking here? Not really, right? Oh, wait. It's not even a rummage. It's my first ring. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought I had more temptation already. All right, well, we have Sting on Shelob. Consideration is a ring bear orc, so they amass and attack. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually a good point, too. Yeah, that's a good point. I actually like that, too. Oh, Pippin? Oh, baby! I can Sting on Shelob. Sting, <laughs> Sting Shelob? <laughs> Wait, is this part of the lore? 
I don't know if this was I don't know if this was in the movies. Oh, Sting and Pippin for haste? Oh shit. Wait, that's wait, that's even better. <laughs> wait, shit, that's even better. Hold on here. Wait, that's crazy. Wait, is that better? I don't know. Wait, Sting kills Sh Shellum? Wait. Beginning of each combat and I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> that was terrible. That was just terrible, man. That was terrible. Should be fine though, but yeah. That was terrible. I should have uh given this and show but then untapped it, whatever. Whoops. Yeah, that was a pun. Yeah, and I think it should be fine though, but yeah. Alright. This is big. I just give Shell a protection, right? They should be dead, actually. Shouldn't they? Shouldn't they be dead? I think they should be dead. I fucked up again, chat. They should be dead, right? Because I, uh, I can equip Sting to this, give us protection from creatures, and then sack sack, they die. I mean, we play this terribly, but still, we still get the W. Too many interactions. Too many interactions with these decks, man. Fine hand, I guess. Mm, birthday escape, turn one. Oh, there's a forest. I could keep the spider for Elrond, actually. Huh. But with this hand on turn three, I'm probably going to play Elrond. I get rewarded if I draw either a plains or a swamp, and I don't play spider here. Let's try it. My problem with VODs is that all my embarrassing comments... Wait, what? You, you qualify with a 94 color deck similar? Nice, 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 Metru. No, I don't have those stats. Oh, there's Pippin. I guess I just play Pippin then. I'll play Pippin into Elrin, Mirkwood Spider, I think. Probably better. Let's see if Pippin dies here. Share the lit. Oh, uh, yeah. Only, uh, only subsequent post links here. Ooh, Firebrand. I, I have one way to get it back, I think. Do I have a Shire in my deck? Actually, I, I, I don't even know. I think I need to trade Elrin for this Ballast or Goblin, though. This can get me a black mana, but at what cost? I don't think it's good. I'm just going to bottom it. I'm going to get another scry here as well. Okay, Temptation on spider, I guess. So this will incentivize them to not attack with a lancer, I think. Or not. Is there a point of blocking, honestly? Not really. 
not not when my hand looks like this. Well, Ants Fury? Does that do anything? Ants Fury on this? Ants Fury on this. Then I have a block for this. Then I can rummage with this. So I should rummage first, right? Because I don't want to attack with this, I don't think. But they have their ring bear, but them selecting this one, if this one dies and they pick something else, it's... Smirk with spider in first, I guess. Ooh, shell up? We don't have a, a black mana yet, though. Okay. So I guess I still play my land. Maybe I get a next turn. We answer Fury on Elrond here on the Battlestar Goblin. So that Elrond can survive. And to block the Roram. Yeah. Well, I have two black cards here. The play in uh, still happening. I think there's still some time in the play in. There's like four or five hours left on the play in, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not four or five. Maybe like three or four. Three, three or four hours. So, so you probably got one. That's pretty good. So they're trying to push the damage. Hi, Mario. How's it going? And a flamesmith. Jeez. Mithril coat? That's funny. That makes me not want to not attack then. <laughs> I guess I'm just not attacking, dude. Is it better to surprise them or not surprise them? Think it's better to surprise them. Right, it's not a temptation. It only attacks the legends. Well, my Mirkwood Spider is a ring bear, which is legendary. Hey, B Bay, how's it going? Oh, yo! Cold Skewer Return Raid? Wait, what do you mean Cold Skewer Return Raid? What do you mean? Dude, Cold Dude, I miss Cold Skewer a lot, man. Holy shit. Alright, so... We just play this and pass, then. Alright. Hola, mis amigos. Que onda? Congratulations, King of the World, Cold Skewer. Cold Skewer, the King of the World, baby. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Viva Argentina! Viva Argentina, mis amigos. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I fucking love Argentina, man. Viva, viva Costco y viva Argentina. The human. What do we do here? I guess we're just passing. Nash! Hola, Daka. ¿Cómo está mi, mi, mi amigo? Mi español es mm, muy, muy malo. Yo, yo, yo hablo. Yo hablo. Uh, yo hablo español un poco. So, they need, so they're going to make me sack these? I just double block this. Mi español es bien. Yo quiero vivir. Yo, yo quiero vivir, vivir en Argentina. 
I want to go live in Argentina, guys. How do I do it? How do I do it? Dude. I have been loving Nikki Nicole as well. Nikki Nicole, after I saw, after I watched, um, after I watched, uh, La Vlada de Año Stress. Antes, antes yo veo la velada de Año Stress. Yo quiero ir a la Argentina. Sí. A la, a la Buenos Aires. A la Buenos Aires. Yo, dude, Costco is a god, man. Holy cow. Friends and greens, all places to chat. Actually, oh, guys. I got a gift for Kosku and uh and Kosku y Pedro. Un un una gifto. <laughs> I uh, got a gift for Kosku, Kosku y Pedro. Oh wait, I can't equip. It's 3 mana. Oh, I need to get the land. Whoops. If I die here, Pedro Un. Oh, Palrog. Okay. I need a block with the Gothmog. Nyorita. Wait, what are they doing? Aren't they dead if they attack like this? Pedro is more than playing magic. Dude, Pedro is amazing. Pedro? Pe Pedro is a professional basketball player. It's amazing. All right. Somehow we won this game. <laughs> Dude, I love it, man. Holy cow. I, I, I've been addicted to the song. I have been addicted to the song, dude. It's not very good either. Then multiply five. Five for a frontal boss here. There's a way to get cards back. Can I keep this? Is this greedy? I don't even know. Oh, let's try it. Nash. Nash. Nikki Nicole. Nikki Nicole is so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. Dude, how is Nikki Nicole so cool? Nikki Nicole e Milo. They're so cool, dude. I I'm a fan. Dude, he's so young, right? Milo? Milo's like 16, isn't he? Dude, Milo's like 16. That's crazy. Let's play this. It's probably gonna get... It's probably gonna die, though. Milo, 16 years old, he's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Is Kosku friends with, uh... Is... Is Kosku friends with, uh... With, with Milo and, uh, Nikki? What, what... What is it like in Argentina? Are... Do like all the famous people just know each other or what? How does it work? They're both Argentinian. I don't know if they're friends. Dude, I would love some some incentive to just uh, go live in Argentina. Just go live in Argentina. Like, oh. Mandeldor? Oh. It's kind of awkward hand, huh? 
I guess I just play both and I don't attack. Could also envelope and attack and try Lauren Revealed instead. Seems bad though, man. Can I win with just this? I don't know. I think this is better. I'm not sure. Do all Americans know each other? I mean, Argentina's kind of small though, right? Argentina's kind of small. Like, relatively speaking. And, and I think most people live in Buenos Aires, right? Or no? Like, most of the people who do music and stuff live in Buenos Aires? Oh. I mean, it's big, but most people live in Buenos Aires, right? Or no? Or like, uh, most people, most people who, uh, oh. It's better to block and do it though, right? Wait, wait, this is a Dookie song? All right. Can okay, listen to this one. Can okay, listen to this one after. I think we're, I, I, I think we've lost this chat. I think we're just dead, right? My opponent's hand disruption is too strong. On a multi five. Sting. Oh. Sting good. I can attack with this. <laughs> Wait, I can attack with this and then get it back. Is that fine? I can re equip this here. But I can't play it all and re equip it next turn, anyways. I will recoup this here and I go to two. I think I can keep this, unfortunately. Flash. All right. We're just dead. <laughs> just there. All right. Six wins with the deck. Not bad. Let's, uh, let's do one more draft since we got a big raid here from Kulsku.